Hi, I'm Art, back with some more of my Movavi tips. Now, I've always been a fan of superheroes, not just for the stories, but for the whole concept of saving the world and making it a better place. So naturally, when I made a video about unleashing your superpower, I needed some good superhero effects. And what I wanted to do was catching Thor's hammer, because, well, it's just a really awesome effect. Now, if you're not a superhero fan, you could use this same technique for a lightsaber or just about any other object you could think of. So how do you do that? First, you need cool superhero background. Some videos of your subject catching the hammer, or virtual hammer in this case, and maybe a few other things to add in like hovercraft flying by. Everything except the background needs to be done in green screen. We'll talk about a few other tips and techniques here besides just chroma key that you may want to use to make the scene look even better. And like I always say in these videos, some of you out there may have better, easier ways to do this, and if so, please share those in the comments so we can all learn. So let's start by building our scene. First thing we'll do is we'll drop our background into the main video track and make any adjustments we need. Then I will put the green screen video of me catching the hammer on an overlay track and crop it, use our chroma key tool, make our adjustments to get it looking as good as we can. And finally position it in the scene about where we want it to be using the overlay tool. Next we add the hammer and we'll use the chroma key and overlay tools again. Now if you can find a good green screen grip you like that has the movement you want, that's great and you're pretty much going to be done quickly. Now I found one that was close, but I actually wanted the hammer to fly in horizontally and then rotate to vertical right as it was caught. Uh, let me slow the clip down so the length is a little bit more correct to the subject. Now let's give ourselves some room to work. We'll expand the time a little bit more. And since this clip has the hammer vertical the whole time, one way to get the change I want is to find a point close to the beginning. And I'm going to cut the video right there, right where the hammer comes to a stop. Let me adjust where everything is so I have the hammer stopping right as my hand is closing. And then I'm going to select that small clip of hammer motion. Go to the tools, select animation, then select advanced animation. And this will add two keyframes to your clip. I'm going to work backwards from where the hammer stops. I'll keep that keyframe right where it is. Go to the previous keyframe. I'll rotate the hammer to horizontal and I'll move it a little bit. And then I'll add a third keyframe by using control T on the keyboard. And I'll make that smaller and start it just outside the scene. And then I think we should have the movement that I want. Now let's make sure we've got the hammer lined up with my hand. Make the adjustments using the overlay tool. And I'll clean up the ends of the clips and now everything lines up and matches. And since we have the video with me on top of the hammer video in the overlay track, that keeps the handle behind my hand, which I think looks a little bit more realistic. You can just think of these as layers stacked on top of each other or in front of each other. Now, because I was not able to hold my hand perfectly still, we'll need to move the hammer a little bit so it stays in my hand. So let's go back to the animation tool and advanced animation, and we'll add a few keyframes so I can adjust the position of the hammer to stay with my hand. And just for a little bit more realism, let's add some more motion to the hammer. I can do this by going to filters, then artistic, and add camera shake feature to the hammer video segment. And I can click on the star so I can adjust that for just a little bit of shake for some more realism. Now that I have this great clip of me catching Thor's hammer, I wanted to add a little bit more to the scene. So how about a hovercraft flying in for a landing? I found this clip of a green screen hovercraft flying and I added that to the overlay track. I crop it and make my chroma key adjustments. And then I'll use the overlay tool to place it in the scene exactly where I want. Okay, that wasn't too hard and it actually looks okay. But I wanted a little bit more realism, so I needed to add the hovercraft's shadow. Now this is a little tricky, but Movavi gives you the tools to make it work. So I will copy and paste that same hovercraft video clip and add it to the overlay track. Make adjustments to the position with the overlay tool. And then I want to go to filters and the adjustments tool and select the flip vertical feature and apply that. And then to get it to look more like a shadow, I can change the opacity by clicking on the video and adjusting that down. And if I really want to fine tune it, I can go to the tools and color adjustments, select advanced, and then play with the contrast and brightness to get it to really look like a shadow. And finally, for the shadow, I'll add a little bit of blur as it gets farther away. So I'll go to the filters, the blur mild feature, and make my adjustment there. Okay, so this is starting to look pretty good. But since we're going after realism here, let's add one more touch. Let's make the ship get a little bit blurry as it gets further away. So the way to do this is I'll cut the video in a couple of places. 
And then I'll go to the filter tool, select blur, and use the blur mild feature again. Drop that into segment two and three. I can click on the star in the corner of each segment and adjust the blur. So let's make the first one 7%, and then we'll go to the second one and make that 12% for a little bit more blur. The final touch is adding some good superhero background music to the scene. So I'll go to the add files, select music, and I think I'll use the epic action movie selection. Okay, so let's add some black background to the front so we can get a nice fade into the clip. And we'll trim the music at the end and we'll add another black background for the fade out. Now I'm putting the black background at the end on top of the overlay stack so that we'll cover all the video elements rather than trying to fade out each one of those individually. And then let's make the music fade in and out as well. And lastly, let's add a good transition, something that fits with our superhero theme here to the beginning. All right, so let's see what we have for our final product. You don't need to be able to fly or have special powers or cool gadgets or even a magic hammer. You all have the power to make a difference. You just need to decide to use it. I know that was a lot of work for just a few second clip, but welcome to the world of video editing. And we covered a lot of Movavi features in this tutorial, and hopefully, even if you're not making a superhero video, you picked up on some tips and tricks that you might be able to use in your next project. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.